the second invoice is very easy. It takes less time in comparison to the first invoice. You will get lots of information auto-filled from previous records. If you have not created the first invoice yet, please check out the video Create Your First Invoice linked in the description below. Let me show you how easy creating the second invoice is. Click on the plus button at the bottom center. Business Info You see, your business info is auto-filled from the previous records. And yes, you always can edit it when necessary. To edit it, tap on any area of your business info. Feel free to make changes, whatever you want. When you are done with it, hit the OK button. Next, the bill to or client info. Click on the placeholder button Add Client to add a client. You will find that your previously added clients are listed here. Whenever you need, you can create a new client by clicking on the plus button at the bottom center. And to send the invoice to an existing client, just click on it from the list. Now, the client has been added to the invoice. Next, review the invoice info. Like before, the app fills out the necessary invoice info automatically, but always feel free to edit them by clicking on any area of the invoice info. Next, add line items. To do so, click on the add line item placeholder button. Your all previously created line items are listed here. You can create a new line item by tapping the plus icon, or add an existing line item by selecting from the list. Let's add a few more of them. Others info, and you will see that most of the other info is filled out automatically, as like, discount, tax, signatures, payment options, customer note, Terms and conditions, and so on. When you are done, then click on the Save and Next button. And your invoice is ready to send by email, SMS, print, or download. Great, let me introduce you to the Invoice Action menu. Click on the More button. First, you will get an overview of your invoice status. Then, a list of all actions you can perform on the invoice. Let's close it for now by swiping down. Go back to the Invoice Index page by hitting the Back button. Swipe the invoice from right to left. Click on the More button. And you will see the same invoice action list here too. In the previous video, I showed you how the Action Send email works. Now let's click on the Share link. You will see that a unique shareable link has been generated for this invoice. Send it to your customer by SMS, email, WhatsApp, Messenger, Telegram, WeChat. Snapchat, Viber, Line, IMO, Skype, Discord, or other messaging apps. Or just copy the link and send it in your preferred messaging app. For now, let's send it by SMS. Next, send PDF. Similar to the share link, you can send the invoice as a PDF by email, WhatsApp, Messenger, Kik, Telegram, WeChat, Snapchat, Viber, Line, IMO, Skype, Discord, or other messaging apps. For now, I am going to send it by WhatsApp. Select the client.
and it is set. When you receive a partial payment, you can record that in the invoice. You see the invoice status has been changed to partially paid. And the paid amount has been increased. Upon receiving the full payment, you can mark the invoice as paid. You see, the invoice status has been changed to paid. You can edit payments when required to make a payment correction. Send payment receipts. Review it carefully. And send. You can perform some other actions related to the invoice statuses, as like mark the invoice sent or unsent to the client. Mark is viewed or unviewed by the client. In addition to auto reminders added during invoice creation, you can send custom reminders to the client. Take a review of it and make adjustments. And finally, send it. For sure, you can preview it and customize its design or labels. You can print it, preview, select your mobile or wireless printer, and do print. Have the option to download the invoice as a PDF. You can edit it. Feel free to make adjustments and save. To create a similar invoice, you can duplicate it with a tap. Make required adjustments. and send it to the client. And finally, you can delete the invoice when you see it is no longer necessary for you. Congratulations, you have learned all invoice actions available in Adam Invoice. See you in upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.